Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and hello, new intro. We've decided to cut out the song in the beginning because that's 20 seconds of your life that you can't get back. So, that is what we've decided to do, and we are now here in European Ship Simulator once again. Uh, I don't remember anything about this game except last time we sunk a tugboat out here. <laughs> And we drove a ferry. Those are the two that I remember. What do we got? Good morning, Skipper. It's a bit late, so we should hurt. Well, good Good thing it's in here. Collect today's catch and fishing nets. Just be careful not to get sunburned. Let's leave the harbor. Do you have a waypoint, or are we just kind of doing this? Okay, there's a little waypoint. Do I remember the controls? Yes. Off we go. All right. Onwards with our journey here. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. I decided to come back to this game because we weren't here, here a lot. Um, some of it's really nice. Some of it's very crude. So you've got to kind of take the best that you can. I forgot there's no real reset with that, so... Get that up to full. Make sure that back end doesn't hit. I figured this was going to be a good uh, good game to start my day of recording here. Nice fishing trawler. Don't get me wrong. Like This is a nice boat. Um, all I know, though, is last time we were here, we, we had some issues. So I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better this time around. Do I still suggest this game? Um, I, I'm a little hit or miss on it. And that's only because... Uh, speed's catching up to me now. But um, that's only because there's still... It's still not like a top quality game. And I mean I mean the best for the developers. I, I still love the game. But, you know, kind of kind of looking around. The water's beautiful. The ship doesn't really interact with the water. The scenic is, you know, less to be desired. I, I've seen better in older games, but it, it's still got parts that are here and there. So I, this isn't a complete, like, wash where I'd say, oh, you know, never get this game. If you're a ship enthusiast or a boat enthusiast at all, I, I would still recommend this game. <coughs> and that's just because um, these games are, are hard to come by. Anything that has to do, <laughs> really, with... Uh... Oh, I'm on my feet. Oh, where are we going? Okay. Okay, so the game is glitching a little bit because I forgot to unplug my wheel before I started. So anything on my feet, it's just going to want to automatically go backwards. So we're going to have to ignore that for now. So, yes, yeah, see, see, I'm not I'm not touching anything. I'm just moving the head around. So we're going to have to ignore that. Um, but, yeah, let's go get some fish. I guess that's what we're doing. That shouldn't hurt anything that we're hoping to do, I guess. I don't know now. Now I'm worried that that's going to screw up this whole entire video. Okay, we do have lights. Barely remember them, but we do have them. And again, this is one of those games where you kind of have to sit and wait. And that's fine. You know, you're just going to go into it like so. Entrance is that way. We'll turn 3.6 degrees. It's funny because I also think I'm starting to get into the mood for our um, cruise that is coming in a handful of months. It's June 12th when I'm recording this. Yet again, I don't know when you're going to see this. Um, but in August, we will be going up to Alaska with Disney for a seven night Alaskan cruise. Very excited about it. We did it once in 2012, and we want to do it with Danielle so that she can see it. We want to do it before kids, um, for obvious reasons and expense reasons. So, in case they weren't obvious, I'm going to state them. Money. The expenses. Is that a ferry depot or a ship depot? Yeah, a cruise ship could dock here. I like it. Good to know. So, if we ever do decide to make our own levels... We've got a dock right here. 
God, we are tiny. Okay. There's a ferry port there. Are there just mooring? Yeah, they're bullets. There's mooring bullets everywhere. Which is handy, but I don't remember how easy it is to do in this game. Yeah, that's a tug. I'm trying to remember everything here. Show labels. Fishing boat. Tugboat 2. Coast Guard. Orient. Tugboat 2 again. Do, 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 do. And another fishing boat. <laughs> Well, ours is better because we're probably going to sink ours. So, with that aside, <laughs> um, I see that it wants us to exit the harbor. Usually, isn't there like a giant bouncing arrow? I don't know. We're whopping at a whole total six knots here. Killing it. Okay. Turn 1.5 degrees. I hope this I can keep this into a one episode video. Fun game can take some time, and, and this comes from somebody who used to religiously play uh, ship simulators. Makes me wonder, do I have anything that's new since the other day? Nope. <laughs> um, I got two vlogs that we're recording this weekend at Mananock Speedway and Claremont Speedway, if anybody happens to be a fan of any of those. I've got some big ideas for American Truck Simulator that's going to be coming. You know, th the more I look at this, the, th the ships are even done well. I think what this game is lacking is content. Everything does look pretty good. I wish the ship interacted a little bit better with the water. You know, because right now we've just got a, a normal little draft up front, a little bit in the back. I don't know. They got the accuracy of how slow this freaking boat would be. One game I think I might bring to the channel, I don't know, is years ago there was a Deadliest Catch game that came out. And it's got the best of both worlds. It's got crabbing, it's got uh, boat simulation, and, well, ship simulation, technically, they're big enough. And I really want to bring it to the channel. I just, if I get sucked into it, that's all you will see. Um, and I was never good at it, ever never good at that game. So, maybe I guess, I guess what makes better content, content uh, struggling with words this morning what makes the best content isn't if you're the, you've either got to be the best at the game or you might as well not be good at it. You know what I mean? If you sit and you watch somebody who's good at a game, it's entertaining but some t sometimes I'm not saying every time, sometimes it's fun to watch somebody struggle a little bit and I think we know that firsthand on this uh, this channel and I'm thinking about challenging ourselves a little bit more with games that are a little bit more out of our comfort. The thing with simulation and tycoons is you start to figure it out. You start figuring out what needs to be done. God, hopefully we don't have to go too far for these freaking nets. It's been 10 minutes and we haven't even left the harbor yet. Guard creeping up behind us. Okay, see, I swear. Oh, actually, is it because of. Yeah, there we go. Go here. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, those could have been scaled down just a lot. I like that the reflective. It's interesting. I didn't even notice the shadow. Even the shadow looks pretty good. Well, the reflection, not the shadow. Nothing casts a shadow now that I think about it. Excuse me, sorry. The sky doesn't even look that bad. It's funny, the more that we play this, the more I'm like, I mean, it's not that bad. Can you count? We're literally, like, right on top. Right under, I should say. Come on. Okay. The night's near the shore, if you remember. No, I don't. Let's go and get the first one. Oh Jesus! We gotta go like all the way back the way we can, and look at the, look at the difference. So it's interesting. The game changed it. We were in smooth harbor water because we were behind the breaker wall, and as soon as we were out here, everything picked up again. Now this water is beautiful compared to what I've seen in the last uh, ship simulator. Now I'm comparing when I'm talking about this, by the way. If anybody happens to care, 
Uh, I'm comparing two. I'm comparing Ship Simulator 2008 with its um, add-on material. And I am comparing as well Ship Simulator Extremes. Now, Ship Simulator 2008, that's where I used to spend all my time. And I actually still do. I still play it a lot in my free time. Uh, we play with the um, Ocean Star, which is a cruise liner. And I have custom uh, maps and missions pretty much set up where it's, it's pretty much a giant sandbox mode. And we follow a cruise itinerary. We travel from place to place. I dock. Oh, did, did anybody else see that? You see the what? Yeah, look at it. Just just going over the back. Okay. Going over the stern. Whatever. Um, and, and we would follow these routes. And it was... It was it's a lot of fun because that's what simulation is to me. It's not something that's quick. And I know for video wise, I've got to make these quick. Um, but it's, it's the realistic time. Like, I'm going to be honest. If I was actually driving this ship and I was really worried about realism, I'd actually go much further out because I'd be too worried about being slammed into the wall here, the breaker. There we go. I still am. I'm still worried about that. But we, we'll see. Um, but yeah. We just play, I play that all the time, and that's just because we have the ability to go from port to port, and then we had time at sea, and just, even with the graphics not as good as this, it was still great, and the water was fine. It, it, was, it was good, not as good as this. Now, when we get to Ship Simulator Extreme, um, this is where V-Step, the company who makes the game, drop the ball. They work so hard on certain details, like the water looked good. Uh, I would say it could have been this good. But the shading was all off. When you did waves, they just didn't feel right. There was no crest. There was no white foam. Like, there was nothing. Like, here, the water at least looks a little alive. So, yeah, look at that. Look at that. See that crest all by themselves. So, I'm just saying, that, that was a kind of a failure, and that's what I'm kind of coming in here with already a sour taste in my mouth of going, oh, it's not that great because it's lacking content. It's got still more content than a major game in the genre. Ship Simulator and Ship Simulator Extremes in 2008, uh, that was it. There's a couple outs out there. There's like Virtual Sailor, I think, is one out there. But like, to be able to hop in and drive a cruise ship now, I know there's one in this game, and that is going to be a video that we'll be uh, dabbling in a little bit later. I don't know when, <laughs> um, but we're going to definitely be checking it out. See, I wish I could walk around. I know I'd have to restart the game to be able to do that. Are we going to have to bring this back into the port? Hold on. Can I zoom out enough to look at that terminal? I can't. Damn it. I wanted to look at this because this is a terminal. And then there's one over here, too. Uh, you know what? I, mm, the more I think about it, because I forget about this game. I forget about certain games. And one that I keep saying that there's a sour taste in the mouth, and there is. And I just I haven't figured out really why yet. I think it's some of the lack of detail and lack of content. But we should really try a mission editing uh, episode and get one set up for our own. Because, let's see, how far out can I zoom this? Okay. Not a lot, technically. I can hide it. So we've got all this area to work with. So if we even have the ship, like, over... Sorry, my mouse is trying to go to the other screen. Here, or uh, however far it might go that way. You know, this gives us a whole episode to be able to pull in here, back it up, into there, dock it. First, got to look at what the controls are like when it comes to the cruise ship, the ocean liner. Because if they're really crappy controls and it's just going to be more angered than anything, it's not worth the time in. But I think we'll try it. There's a couple other missions that we've got to try. I, first off, I've really got to figure out how to use a tugboat properly. If anybody remembers our first episode, which is actually, believe it or not, like the fifth most viewed episode on the channel. And I think it's because it's a random game. You know what I mean? Like, there aren't people making massive amounts of videos for this game. Um, but it's got a lot of views, and it's inspired some people to buy it. And I'm like, okay, well... If people like it, I'll make some more videos of it, because it is fun. And right now, like, just looking over over here, it's beautiful. You know what I mean? 
By the way, I don't know if I've ever described, I'm pretty sure you can see this through my icon, I'm looking at the other screen. These are the four cameras that you have. We have the orbiting cam, which we're here now. This is the bridge cam, which I can look around. Oh, you are interactive. I have two different lights. Did it? Okay, I never saw that. It's like a cinema cam. This is walking. Ignore the walking one. Yeah. What? Oh man, we got a whole bunch of lights. I'm glad I'm paying attention. Okay, back to the bridge cam. Okay, so those are navigational lights. And then these are just ship lights. Interesting. I like it. Okay. Good to know. You know, we'll sit up here on the bridge for a little bit. It's an old rust bucket, I can tell you that much. We've got a buoy. Now, I'm going to attempt to collect it from the right. I know it's not going to matter, but... I wish there was a click when you got that back there. Okay, this hasn't been that bad yet. Granted, it's taken another 10 minutes to get ourselves out here. So, this might be a two... If we've got more than one buoy, which I can see another one. Um, we might be getting buoys and then going back in two different episodes, just because I try to keep the episodes around 20 to 30 minutes in time. And I know it's, you know... Oh, what if the story's continuing? Continuing, I'll just do it. Sometimes, when I watch a YouTube video, regardless who it is, if it gets past 20, 25 minutes, something that's a normal TV show, something that we've grown up with, I have a tendency... Oh. Okay, oh, hold on. You should have told me this before we were on top of it. Great. Great. <laughs> um... I try to keep them in that length because, you know, growing up, we're used to a certain length of, of film for kids. And I'm not saying kids watch these videos. I'm just saying. Is that max for reverse? Then don't give me the whole entire dial. Yeah. I just wish you had told me beforehand. Because now we're like a half mile away. Can you still reach it? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, come on. And back we go. Can we just let the tide take us? Like, look at look at this. Look at the look at the waves. How much it's rocking us? Uh, that was that was a pretty big wave all itself, but <sighs> back it up slowly. A little bit of frame drop there. Doesn't like reverse. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go down. Excellent. They are full. Let's go get the next one. Let's get the other one and go back home to weigh them. Onward! <laughs> like, seriously. <coughs> it just takes so long. Uh, I mean, I could speed it up for you guys, but... Maybe. I don't know. I don't have any more witty commentary. Oh, uh, boy. Well, off we go on our adventure. At least we know now to slow down before it. 
I just went to thought it would take that much longer to get down there. Oh well. We're on our way. That's all that matters. Get a slight turn here to make it. Let's see. Let's get that back forward. There we go. Steering is much more responsive than the throttle. I'm wondering, because it took us about 20 minutes to get here. It could be 20 minutes to get back. You know what? We're just going to keep this as one long episode just for you guys. But what I think might end up happening is on the way back, you might see a quick time lapse of the ship getting there just because that's a long way. 20, 20 minutes of just sitting and, you know, because I'm not even doing anything. The ship's just point in the direction that I needed to. I'm monitoring it. Every once in a while, turning it. A little bit. You know, watching the charts, making sure there's nothing around, but really, there ain't much. I mean, and that's just ship life anyways, and that's why I love the cruise liner, because you got a lot more work to worry about. More on the piloting end than, like, at sea, but keeping a good, you know, away from weather keeping it a little less choppy of seas to make sure everybody's enjoying their cruise. Okay, we're going to bring it down to 800. A nice little town. Now, this is obviously copy and pasted houses, you know. Doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Nice little seaside, though. It's interesting the support. I guess there's a little bit more of a city over here. Office building, another cargo terminal. I'm still hoping that one day there's going to be a ship simulator that's really a good ship simulator, but it also has more places to go because even with ship sim and ship sim extreme, why is that flashing? Missing texture? Um ship extremes and 2008 come on um, you've got New York you've got Bora Bora uh, Fifi Islands oh okay I can stop um, San Francisco Sydney's in the newest one and again trying to optimization of that game and we will do it Great haul. We were very lucky today. Let's go back to port and put the catch on scale, on sale, scale, whatever. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping for more places like Miami, you know. And I know that's going off of after the the cruise ship market. I know there's a handful of us out there. Uh, Miami, Port Canaveral, Fort Lauderdale, Nassau. Oh my God! If we had Nassau in a game, the problem is 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 it Virtual Sailor? There's a, a kind of a fan-made game out there. Very crudely put together. Some of the stuff looks really good, but, you know, mostly just kind of pixel work. Nothing nothing this extravagant. Um, and people have made a lot of ships for that game and a lot of ports, and I think I'm eventually going to try it. I honestly don't know how. I don't know what the downloads are. Like, I, you know, I don't know what's going to be required, but... I think it could be something fun in the future. Nope. I don't know why it just won't let me grab the wheel. Want to be a dick? We'll be a dick. Two of us can play it that game. Let's get this straightened back out at least. Ooh, we're gonna be fighting against the waves this time, so it's gonna be even a little, probably a little bit slower back if the realism's there. be a lot of fight with the waves if they keep knocking the boat over to him. All right, we're going to cruise ourselves back to port. We will see you guys in a bit.
we're back. Thank you guys for sticking around for that time lapse. It's just when all I know is that we're just going right one direction. It's just a lot easier that way. Do I have an Ella coming to say hi? I do. You like being out on a boat. We went out on uh, our friend Julie's boat the other day. Only second time I've ever been on like a river kind of boat. Like just a normal pontoon kind of kind of thing and uh, a lot of fun. Ella loved it. She wanted to jump in the water or chase the fish that she could see. Oh, no. Say hi to everybody. She's wagging, saying hi. Are you a wagon? Yeah, she's a wagon. <laughs> um, I, I don't think she minds cruising. She works. It's funny, though. Um, we found out from the carnival video, which is uh, in vlogs here on the channel, that Ella works harder on vacation than she does on a normal day um, because when I get to relax I mean she gets to work you know whether it's walking around the theme park or you guys are waiting for us to unload the boat on the back dock please head that way now well that's where I was heading anyways but of course we got Coast Guard kind of in our way <clears throat> but yeah when 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 I get to relax and play Nugget has to work a lot harder uh, that's her nickname. I don't know if I've ever actually called her Nuggy or Nugget on uh, on the channel yet. That's her nickname. Food related. I don't... Bigger ships get the right away, regardless if it's the Coast Guard or not. I would have some choice words for them. But we are back in the harbor, so I figured that the sea would reset and kind of go back to being calm because this is not good. Uh, this is not harbor seas here. If it's this bad in the harbor, we shouldn't be moving at all because we would be way over there. So let's see. We've got ferry docks here, which I think we did in the ferry episodes. I think Ella just tripped trip over your own vest? Yeah, she did. Alright, back dock, of course, is way back there, isn't it? It's kind of where we came from. Alright, well, we're back. Time to think of some lively, whoa, <laughs> lively conversations. Um, I would like to note that it assumes that two nets with one single buoy shore side um, once we get the buoy attached by the way um, next to the shore is enough one to fill the boat and two to make a day's pay now it might be possible I know very little about fishing I know crabbing and I know lobster because I'm from New England I don't eat lobster but I know lobster catching and I think I also know a little bit about marlin too but not a lot <laughs> But I can almost guarantee that I'm not going to get a whole day's wage off of just, what, we're at 36 minutes now? Yeah, 36 minutes of time. Of work. Yeah, I know we would have had to have set them and waited, faded, all that kind of fun stuff. I know that, but still. Whoop, tipping again. Let's see, I'll go back to zero. That should be fine. You know, the cinema shot would be great if it wasn't, uh, you know, slow. Now, can I only walk up here? I'm going to try. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight this. Well, I can't go downstairs, so the only area that I can walk around is, is up here. That's kind of a bummer. I think that's also one of my favorite things about Ship Sim 2008, which I know I keep talking about, and I think we're going to get it on the channel. The problem is, is getting the files and everything that I need, I need to, uh, ooh. <laughs> it's just moving us all around. Um, I need to figure out how to actually copy the file from that computer, like the actual game itself. I still have all the keys. 
Um, but some of the stuff was uh, download. You know, you you would download it. And this computer I've had for a very long time. Um, I don't know if it's possible, but I would like to. I would love to get it on the channel. And I know the first thing is, I know that people aren't going to appreciate it as much as I am, and I'm okay with that. But I figure if I keep uh, keep talking about it the way that I am, we've we've got to we've we've got to put it onto the channel, put up or shut up. Uh, two things that I I think are kind of relevant. And not necessarily to the game, but just uh, in general on this channel. Uh, one being, I didn't see this last night because I don't check Facebook all the time. And I'm not on like auto notifications for certain things. Um, a new DLC was announced. I assume it's a DLC. It didn't tell me a release date or anything. For American Truck Simulator Forestry Equipment. Now, this will probably be old, old news by the time you see this video. But that's super exciting, knowing that Washington um, will be able to uh, work together to, to make that a, a good a good pair. Give us something else to do once we get up there. I do need to buy Washington. I haven't yet. I'm waiting for the Coast to Coast mod and uh, Canada Dream, which is the Canadian map. I'm waiting for those two to become updated before I buy Washington, because we use the Coast to Coast map more than I would use Washington for NASCAR style, American Truck Simulator NASCAR style, which I'll be doing this week down to Myrtle Beach, which I believe will be another time lapse video, so just to give everybody a little heads up on that. Might do that today, that might be a good, because usually when we do a time lapse now, I have the ability to do what I want to do like listen to the radio or something I might I might listen to the radio might put on Netflix I've done that before I might there's a movie that I want to watch I might buy a movie through I hate it but I'm going to do it anyways buy it through YouTube I bought Shin Godzilla the other day not the best movie but fun to watch because I'm a big Godzilla fan regardless I actually might watch it, that movie again because it's taking me a lot for me to understand because it is a dub movie I'm trying to learn more about the story that they wanted to tell not the story that got dubbed because when you watch something that's been dubbed it, it, it changes I don't care what anybody says I, I feel like it changes the uh, the whole entire story I'm watching the water interact here now I'm wondering is the water actually disappearing underneath or is it splashing up against the wall because if you look it kind of looks like it's riding the wall but then it dissipates pretty quickly so I'm assuming it does kind of look like it bends around that corner. I gather that's our dock. Oh. Their fishing boat looks better. It's the same, isn't it? Do I have binoculars? No, I don't. I mean, I guess it's the same. Why does it look different? I mean, it's a little bit darker. Fresh coat of paint goes a long way. We're seeing something from a distance goes a long way. That, that too. <laughs> okay, you're gonna actually want me to dock in there? Because if so, I'm gonna. Jesus, look at this. So the the game didn't reset for Harbor Wave height. Because look, it's just we started here, by the way, over there. It's just taking out the docks. And the pier. Well, not the pier. The pier's here. Pier. Dock. Dock. Pier. Nice detail on algae. Go back. Can we get another tall wave? Yeah, see? Look at that. That's a good detail. I'm going to be too far to the side, aren't I? Now, dark dock at the marked position. Well, you're seeing as it's a giant ass arrow I'm gonna try like look at look at that look at that this is not a safe place for a boat to be I guess it was you it's the tugboat probably telling me what the hell are you doing here I don't know either sir <laughs> I also agree this is a bad idea as long as we're all clear on the bad idea that's happening right here. 
I think I just got a voicemail from the vet. Okay, so I just realized. Um, so that was the first thought. The second thought. Um, the walls have come down for the construction on. I can't moor the boat. <laughs> okay, first off, I couldn't moor it. There was no mooring lines or anything there. No capability of doing that. And I love this. Well done, Skipper. We have earned a lot of, of money today. Uh-huh. Right. Perfect. <laughs> and that's it. That, that's all that it gives you. Settings. Oh, God. I can't. I, I can't even read what these are. Don't go to settings. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, we do live stream on Twitch, and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think, what you want to see either in this series or what you want to see on the channel. I'm always open to suggestions and uh, a conversation with you all. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to show support, a subscribe is always appreciated. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.